So let's start, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala muhammadin khatam al-nabiyin. Wa ala ahli baytihi al-tayibin al-tahirin wa ashabihi al-muntajadeen. Welcome everyone to this special program about, um, about the Hijjah. And it's about Hajj. May Allah bless everyone in this sacred month, the Hijjah. This is a very important month, and I feel like especially the first 10 days of the Hijjah, uh, there are many uh, lessons to be learned about these days. And there are many opportunities from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, uh, like to to get better to be better Muslims, but we but, but um, um, many people don't know and don't don't do anything in these ten days. So that's why we thought it is very important to share uh, these ideas and learn uh, about these ten days, so that we we get all the benefit, inshallah, together. Um, I would like uh, to thank all the sisters who uh, participated in the uh, Dhul Hijjah pro uh, program uh, or the Dhul Hijjah project. Uh, I'm sure uh, they've learned a lot and they will get the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah. When you, when you search something, when you, when you look for, for information, when you do something, that's a, a very good uh, like, uh, way to, to learn. Uh, Alhamdulillah, and there's something, you know, this is uh, the hadith, the zakatul ilmi and ta'allimahu ahla. So it is, it is when you have some, some knowledge, uh, it's like when you have money, you have to give some of this money to, to the poor. So it's not like when you have some knowledge, you have to share it with, with, uh, with other people. That's the, some of, one of the principles of Islam. Uh, today we are talking about one of the important ibadat in uh, in Islam, as you know, which is Hajj. The meaning of the word Hajj in Arabic is Qasd. This is what, what is Qasd, which means full intention to approach some um, a place or something like when when I, when, I have, when I have full intention, I I I go with the, with the word Hajj. So, uh, but some people, some Muslims, think that Hajj is for the Hajjaj only, or the people, or, or for the people who, who is the Hajjaj, the people who go to Mecca. Uh, it is true that the Hajj is uh, Hajj is an obligation for every Muslim once in their life. Yet the lessons of Hajj should extend to everyone's life. Why? Like someone would uh, should, would ask, um, is that true? Should we extend the lessons of Hajj to everyone's life, or is it only exclusive to to the Hajjaj? Um, I believe, like because uh, everyone, like Hajj is all about changing yourself. It's all about being closer to Allah. Everyone needs to be closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Why we need to be closer to Allah, to be on the safe side, inshallah, in this dunya and in akhirah. There is this uh, nice hadith or the, uh, that's full of wisdom. I thought to, to share it with you. Um, it says in Arabic, dunya bahrun amiq, fiha khalqun kathir, fiha taqwallah. This dunya, this life is like a deep sea. So many people have drowned in it. The only thing that would save your life is the, is taqwa, is, is, is your piety that, that, that will protect you from haram, protect you from nar. So how do we obtain this taqwa to be safe, to, to be safe in, this, in, in this deep sea? Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because he's Rahman, Rahim, he's so merciful, he's so uh, caring about us, provided great opportunities to help us uh, approach him, to be closer to him. One of those opportunities, like in, in addition to salah, to prayers, to zakah, and to uh, uh, fasting, it's hajj. So today, inshallah, we will discuss the importance of the first 10 days of the hijjah. 
this is um, uh, our sister Sara will, will talk about this. And uh, before that, I will share with you some lessons that we learn from uh, for, uh, about uh, that, that every Muslim should learn, regardless if they go to Mecca or not. Lessons from Hajj. So these lessons, um, like I, it inspired me from Quran and from the uh, obligations of Hajj. So, as we um, we said, this is uh, Hajj. Um, <clears throat> like the question of this of this. Um, uh, yeah, <clears throat> sorry. The question here, what should non-pilgrims do during the 10 days of the Hajjah? <clears throat> do we have some obligations? Do we have something to do? Or do we leave it all to the uh, pilgrims, to the Hajjah? And uh, of course, like uh, this year, uh, there's no, like uh, only people from Saudi Arabia are going to Hajj. So we have to, to um, like, um, like to inspire from Hajj, to have, you have to, to live Hajj so that it doesn't, um, like this ibadah still should stay alive in, in our hearts and in our minds, in our life. <clears throat> uh, we have the very important uh, uh, days in, uh, in two days in the year uh, in, in the Islamic calendar, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. So Eid al-Adha, inshallah, it's approaching us in 10 days. We have we have to think about it. We have to reflect about these two, like the most important occasions in the Islamic cal calendar. Eid al-Fitr, as, as you know, uh, it comes after Ramadan, and Eid al-Adha comes after um, uh, after the, the ten the ten day of the of the Hijjah after uh, the Hijjah finished their pilgrimage. So uh, as we said, this is the question, does Hajj benefit only those who go to Hajj? Are there any worshiping acts uh, uh, recommended for other Muslims during the Hajj season? This is the question that I ask myself and I try to find um, uh, an answer to, to, to this question. To this question. So uh, the main points of discussion will be inshallah after researching uh, I will I will share with you what what I um, uh, like uh, the conclusion of my research. So the main points of discussion will be three points: the significance of the first ten days of the Hajjah, recommended worshiping acts for the Muslim Ummah during the Hajj period. So this is we are talking about people who are not going to Hajj, who are who are who are people like us. The third point, how to celebrate Eid. <clears throat> so we will start with the significance of the first 10 days of uh, the Hajjah in the Quran. Um, uh, this is like, uh, this is in Surah Al-Fajr, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wal-Fajri wal-Layanin Ashr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sweared by these, these great things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't swear by something um, uh, small. So it is it, it, this Walihan in Asher, these many, many um, scholars they that uh, say that this is the, the first 10, these are the, the first 10 days of the Hijjah. So there are some <clears throat> hadiths that uh, support this because like the, the, the say that this is that the first 10 days of the Hajjah are very important, are very sacred. You have to work on them. Do not switch off your light during the first 10, uh, 10 days of the Hajjah. That means, that means stay awake, try to pray, try to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing better and greater uh, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than worshiping in the first 10 days of the Hajjah. So now we are uh, in, uh, like we live in, in a very sacred time. These 10 days are very sacred, very important. We have to realize their importance so that we work hard to like to, you know, when, when there's, uh, there is a sale in the, in the supermarket and there's uh, like, it's limited time. 
everyone rushes and they, they will go just to, to get the, the, the most benefit the, the, uh, these um, uh, products on sale. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us in these 10 days, it's like a sale, it's giving us opportunities to, to get more rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If someone like, uh, doesn't uh, doesn't care about the, the sale period and then the, the time finishes, you will feel like, or oh, you will regret it after that. But inshallah, we will all work hard, work, work. It's, it's, it's something for us. It's an opportunity for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we didn't get anything from this, but we need this, inshallah, to go to Jannah and to, 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 to live good life in this life and in the hereafter. I will go through some like inspirations from um, uh, from uh, from the ayat from uh, some some ayat from the Quran some verses but I because the time is limited I can't go through every like uh, the the um, uh, like uh, in detail I, I'm going to pick up some some points hoping that inshallah we take them with us and uh, in these ten days and we work on them. Uh, so I found this uh, some like some very nice uh, verses in the Quran. I want to share them with, with you. Uh, one of these verses, like "Wa'adin fil nasi bil hajj," and men. I just want to focus on one part of these uh, these two verses and mention the name of Allah on an uh, appointed days. So. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stresses that we need to mention, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to remember Ismallah. We want to, to on our uh, tongues and uh, or in our hearts, we have to remember the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these appointed days, these non-days, because uh, like uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed them, everyone knows that these are the days of Hajj. So, uh, you know, like in, in this Mafatih al-Jinan and Musbah al mutahajid we have these books of, of du'as. They're full, like they say, A'mal, they say, what do you do? What do you do in the hijjah So it's not uh, it's not hard to, to know what, what to do. Like um, like, like what, what are the prayers? What are what you need to fast? For example, you need to fast nine days, so the first nine days of the hijjah Of course, the the 10 day of the Hajjah is um, like it's haram to, to fast. The recommended prayers after the Maghrib, there is between Maghrib and Ashada, some two, two rak'ahs and many valued du'as. These are there, but are they enough? No, they are not enough to, to make this change, to inspire the, from the whole experience of Hajj. So what do we need? Do we need to inspire from the main Hajj application and from the Quran. <clears throat> Just a quick, uh, like, uh, I will, quickly, I will go through some uh, some of the uh, actions of Hajj, and we inspire something in our life here, like we, we do, like because ihram, like ihram is not only for Hajj. Ihram could be it's it's possible that we we be in, uh, in the status of ihram to keep away from dunya. So everyone can keep away from dunya. Keep away, like, what do you mean keep away from dunya? It doesn't mean that you don't eat or, or sleep or do things. To keep away from the desires that, uh, that bad desires that, that connect you to this dunya, not to, to the akhirah. But if you do anything, like even if you eat for the sake of Allah, it will be you're doing something for the akhirah. So we can do ihram in this, in this uh, time. Also talbiyah. To say to say Allah subhanahu wa taala, I'm I'm at your service. I respond to Allah to Allah's call. So uh, we can't do labbeek Allahumma labbeek all the time. Just just try to to um, say this this talbiya from the first uh, the first moment uh, in the morning till the evening. See how it how it works for you. It will it will tell you something. Just try in these ten days, and inshallah, it will make a difference. Uh, tawaf, uh, this, the meaning of tawaf is to stay in the circle of Islam. When you stay on the circle, of, because your 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 uh, hajjaj uh, go around the circle uh, in a circle around the Kaaba, but we can stay in the circle of Islam. How do we stay in the circle of Islam? Someone may, someone may ask, how do we stay in the circle of Islam? We can 
we need so much knowledge and education to stay in the circle of Islam because we don't know. Sometimes we deviate from the right path and we don't know. So we have to be aware, we have to learn a lot. The Sa'i between, uh, between Safa and Marwa, this, the, the Hijaj, they do this, but we have, we, we on, uh, in our lives, we need to Sa'i, we need this Sa'i. We, we need to work hard to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, we can't sit and relax, uh, and then we, we will get Jannah. We have to work hard, like everyone. Like if you're if you're a, if you're a good doctor, you have to work hard to be a good doctor. If you're a good engineer, if you're a good teacher, so no one can get something without um, like working hard. Rami al Jamarat, when when the the Hajj, they they throw the stones on the Shaitan. We have to to throw the stones of rejection of any deviation of any evil idea uh, or of any bad things in bad habits. Um, uh, hair removal, complete transformation from inside and outside. We have to, 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 to maintain like the change, but towards the uh, pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not towards like, not to, to be bad, to the bad thing. Visiting the Prophet, uh, the Prophet Masjid in Medina, dealing with the, uh, with the leadership, whatever you, you have, like dealing with the Prophet, obey the, the commands of the Prophet, and, and the Ma'alim Salam, everyone. Uh, who, who's uh, all of the scholars who, who teaches us good things, inshallah. So these verses from the Quran from 196 to 203, some, uh, as I said, I can't go through every part of these um, verses because in every uh, every ayah will need a whole lecture. But, but I thought maybe we can take bits and pieces and inshallah, we connect them and do, uh, if we can like um, do these things, it will be great, inshallah. Um, that means Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying in this ayah, make your intention uh, pure, uh, purify your intention. You have to, uh, like uh, your intention should be always lilla for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for no, no one else. We have to remember that we are doing everything from the morning to, to the evening, lilla subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِنْ أُحْصِرْتُمْ تَمَسْتَيْسَرَ مِنَ الْحَدِي like you have to, it's uh, the hedi, the, the uh, in, in Hajj, they sacrifice an animal for the sake of Allah. In this life, in, in, uh, for our other Muslims that, that who, are, who are not going to Hajj, uh, they should uh, sacrifice an animal also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not obligatory like for, for Hajj, but we need to do this to feed the poor because um, uh, it's very, very heartbreaking. Some people, uh, I've learned that some, some people in Muslim countries, they don't eat um, uh, meat unless it is aid. So they, the, and they eat, the, especially eat al adha where, where, where people sacrifice animals. So you will get benefit like rewards from Allah and you will make other people happy. So try to sacrifice an animal every aid, so just to like for the sake of Allah, inshallah. Um, this is something in Hajj. Uh, Rafat is swearing and insulting people with harsh words. So we can do this. We have to to um, to uh, like uh, uh, work hard on ourselves. Do, do not. Uh, we have. We shouldn't speak any harsh word to anyone. To, to, uh, we shouldn't say anything. Um, uh, in, uh, we shouldn't insult anyone. So we have to practice this. We can't. Hajj is not only for the Hajj. Hajj is not only for us specific period, it's for life. Hajj is a, an experience for life, uh, in my view. Uh, also avoid breaking the, uh, the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fusuq, this is fusuq. When you break the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you go, oh, what, what, what is that? Why I should do that? That means you're, you, you're doing fusuq. And wala jidal, you know, jidal is the, the uh, argument. You keep arguing with people. So try not to argue for the sake that to, to, to prove that the other person is wrong and you're right. So it is, uh, it is um, like, it's a good, uh, like, uh, inshallah, exercise for us, for every one of us to try at least in these 10 days to do these things and to, to prevent uh, uh, 
ourselves from doing uh, bad things. ليس عليكم جناح أن تكتبوا فضلا من ربكم. Like you can, like you can't. Uh, it is recommended to do ibadat in these ten days, but you, it's always, it's it's all like uh, it's all right to to do other things. Anything you do, whatever you do in this life, but uh, do ibadah with it, and everything you do, like you work, you do anything, but for the sake of Allah, remember Allah. All the time. تذكروا الله عند المشعر الحرام وذكروه كما هداكم. Remember Allah سبحانه وتعالى. See how how these ayat keep say remember Allah, remember Allah because we keep forgetting Allah سبحانه وتعالى. That's the problem. That's the problem. This is the core problem of us. We we keep forgetting Allah سبحانه وتعالى. That's why we need remembrance. We need these exercises to to uh, like to refresh our uh, memory. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remembering Allah will make our hearts purer, will make our lives easier. So, um, like uh, the people who, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he guided us. Who else can guide us to the right path? The people who perform um, hajj would collect stones to throw them on the shaitan. Similarly, try to collect the stones of rejection and throw them on the bottle. ثم أفيضوا من حيث أفاض الناس. I uh, this this verse like made me uh, you know uh, think about it. Um, it's very it's a great lesson for us. Um, people in uh, at that time at the beginning of Islam in hajj. You know, there are some people like different, uh, some, some poor, there are some poor people, there are rich people, but when they go to Hajj, they go, uh, like, uh, they will be in the same places and when they go to Muzdalifah. Some rich people or some people who with high status, they uh, they try to find another path to go to, to Mecca. Not to, uh, they, they don't want to go on the same path, on the same passage to, to Mecca with the poor people, with other with other people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is an order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, go with, the, with, with other people. This is an order for us to not to... Uh, like to separate from from people, separate people, separate uh, separate ourselves from others. Islam is a religion of equality. The only thing you know, the, the only thing that make people better, the make this this person better than the, the other person is taqwa. In akramakum, in atqakum. You need to stand against discrimination. So, like when there is some, some poor people, different status of uh, people, so. You um, like you have to to be with them. Do not separate from them. And istighfar. This is uh, istighfarullah. Istighfar is a great ibadah. We need to to remember doing istighfar all the time. Um, فَإِذَا قَضَيْتُمْ مَنَاسِكَكُمْ فَاسْكُرُوا اللَّهَ كَذِكْرِكُمْ آبَاءَكُمْ Before, before the, like when they, like, oh, not before, all the time, people when, when they finish Hajj, they, they, uh, they try to relax, they, they relax and they celebrate and they start to, to um, narrate stories about their fathers and their grandparents and uh, these things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Keep remembering Allah. So again, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not, and you have to enjoy uh, speaking about Allah the way, the same way, in the same way that you enjoy speaking about your stories, about your family stories. This is, we have to, uh, like, to, to uh, like, um, this is a great exercise. We have to uh, discipline ourselves all the time, remind ourselves of this. And this is the, the last, uh, uh, like uh, the last command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, do not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when, when you have this opportunity to ask Allah for hajat, for, for your needs. Do not ask only for the needs of dunya. Uh, uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the for like be uh, balance achieve balance between the needs of dunya and the needs of akhirah so it's good to uh, to ask for the for the needs of dunya but you have to remember akhirah and some other verses they say like you have to uh, approach akhirah like to think of akhirah before dunya the needs of akhirah 
ولا تنسى نصيبك من الدنيا. So you have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to remember the needs of akhirah before the needs of dunya, or at least balance between these needs. So just a quick um, uh, uh, we will go quickly on these points again. Um, sorry. Yeah. So keep away from dunya uh, and respect uh, respect others, respond to the call of Allah, stay in the circle of Islam. This is these are some the, the main points that we get from the uh, that we inspired from the Hajj obligations and from these verses. And of course, there are many verses. Stay in the circle of Islam, work hard to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reject evil and shaitan, change yourself both from inside and outside. Follow the teachings of the Prophet, abide by the rules of Islam, and pure intention. This is very important when you when you pray, when you do sadaqa, when you do, when, when you smile to anyone, when you visit your friends, when you do anything, when you call your friends, just try to say with yourself, this is for uh, this is for Allah. I'm doing this for Allah. And that will make you very um, humble and uh, and you you feel uh, like you feel the pleasure of of doing this. It's 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 uh, um, pleasing. It's very pleasing to to have full near to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Uh, you will feel strong against yourself because sometimes you do something for your desire, but you will be, feel very strong, inshallah. So and sacrifice animal, uh, inshallah, for the sake of Allah. Avoid swearing and insulting people with harsh words. Uh, this is an exercise for these 10 days. Inshallah, we will all do this. Avoid breaking the laws of Allah. Pursue, uh, try like it. That means we have to, to, to know what are the obligations of Allah and we don't uh, break them. Avoid, so we need to learn a lot. Avoid arguing uh, to prove that you're right and, and the other person is wrong. Determined to be among those who avoid um, any haram action. You can work and worship Allah at the same time. And remember, keep remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep remembering Allah. Uh, uh, throw the stones uh, of rejection on the battle. Do not separate yourselves from others. Do not uh, fight discrimination on any basis. It's only or, or only the, the best, the, the only way to discriminate people is it's taqwa. It's, and taqwa, you, no one knows who is best. Only Allah knows who is best. So we have to respect all people. No discrimination based on any gender or, or any status or anything. Um, and do istighfar, it's very important. It's the ibadah and keep remembering Allah. And when you ask Allah in dua, do not only focus on the temporary needs, but you balance between temporary needs and akhirah. And finally, we reached uh, after these 10 days, inshallah, we will work together to achieve all these um, they are not obligations, but we can make them obligatory on, like we, we, we can make them uh, obligate, uh, obligations for us so that we become better people, inshallah. Uh, when we reach Eid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, when you reach Eid, do not remember, do, do not forget Allah again. Again, do not forget Allah. It's all about remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's only a few days. So because uh, these ayam al the, the, the days of Tashriq, three days, only three days. It's all about taqwa. It's about taqwa. Hajj is, is about taqwa. So uh, what do we do in Eid? We we uh, like we keep remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Perform the eight prayers. Some people they don't care about eight prayer. Eight prayer is very important because it uh, it keeps us on the track. It it it, it reminds of all of, of the the blessing of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So we need this the eight prayer, especially for the for uh, young people. They need to to appreciate eight prayers. 
because it's um, uh, it's uh, like the main thing in Eid. It should be the main thing in Eid. Also, give charity and udhiyya to the poor. Visit your friends. What these are recommendations for, for Eid? Keep remembering Allah and Akhirah and prevent yourself from haram actions. And spread happiness. Be happy. Like inshallah, after if you do all these things in, in the first ten days. You deserve to be happy. And uh, there's, a, a, I will uh, share only, this is finally, I will share um, two um, narrations, um, nice narrations about, about spreading happiness. Allah, uh, the first one is Allah would delight those who make other Muslims happy. And the other hadith is there is a special house in Jannah called the house of happiness, where only people who make kids happy are allowed to enter it. So try to make kids happy, try to make everyone happy in any way, in any way you, 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 uh, you can. And inshallah, Allah will, um, will uh, accept all our deeds and we will, we will all deserve uh, this, um, inshallah, this reward from Allah at the end of the, the 10 days. Um, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Now we finished this, and inshallah, now we will move to Sister, um, to Sister Sarah. She will, I will, uh, sorry, I will, I will share. Um, she will, she will tell us more about the first ten days of the Hajjah. So any questions? If you have any questions, you're welcome to ask. Okay. So now, Sister Sarah, um, Sister uh, Hajja Sarah uh, uh, Fatima from Sydney, she participated in this uh, in the the Hijja project with the, this uh, paper or with this um, uh, article, the significance of the first ten days of the Hijja. Uh, inshallah, we we will uh, listen to her presentation now, and inshallah, we like as promised, all the papers that was uh, that were uh, submitted to to Kalima during the, for this project will be published in uh, our website, and uh, we have other uh, like four more uh, articles in, in in English. Inshallah, stay tuned. We will tell you when when we will. Uh, Present them, inshallah. We have other uh, papers in Arabic. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. This is Sarah, you can start now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before everything, uh, Dr. Iman, I would like to confirm with you. Uh, do you listening my voice? Yeah, I can. Can you listen. can you hear? So yeah, everyone, I can hear you. I okay, can hear. Fantastic. You. So everyone can hear me. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So can I start now, Dr. Iman? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, first of all, I would like to say assalamu alaikum to you all, uh, sisters. Assalamu uh, alaikum to our leader, Dr. Iman al Attar. May Allah bless, bless you, inshallah, and uh, protect you for all of us. And I would like here to thank you for your hard working. Thank you so much, Dr. Iman. Thank you, sister. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you for participating. <laughs> my pleasure. Uh, today, I would like to uh, share with you uh, my project, my Wilhajja project, which is about the significance of the first 10 days of Wilhajja. And as uh, 
Dr. Ima introduce you. My name is Sare. I'm from Sydney. Okay. Uh, yeah, we will move on, uh, Dr. Ima. Um, as we all know, that uh, Dhul Hijjah is the final month of the Islamic calendar. Uh, Dhul Hijjah means the month of pilgrimage. And the best 10 days of the year is often referred to the 10 days of the, the first 10 days of the Hijjah, according to a lot of uh, hadith. And I will talk about it more in detail. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Iman, I lost my slides. Yeah, perfect. Yes, okay, now? Yes, now, perfect. Yeah. Yes. yes, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the two important events of these 10 days are the Hajj and the Eid al-Abha. Hajj is the pilgrimage to Mecca, and it's uh, every Muslim must perform Hajj once in their lifetime when they are eligible physically and financially. And it is indicated in Quran in Surah Ali Imran, verses 97, when Allah mentioned. وَلِلَّهِ عَلَى النَّاسِ حِجُّ الْبَيْتِ مَنْ اسْتَطَاعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا Pilgrimage to the house is a duty owed to Allah by all who can make their way to it. Eid al-Abha is, uh, is, uh, is in the tenth of the Hijjah, and I will talk about the importance of this day in detail. Okay. Uh, there are so many ahadith from our Prophet, peace upon him, regarding to the importance of these 10 days. In one of them, the Prophet mentioned that there are no days on which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. Fasting every day of them is the equivalent of fasting a year and standing every night of them in a prayer is the equivalent of standing on the night of Qadr. In Surah Al-Qadr, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul Qadr, wa ma adraka ma laylatul Qadr, laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shah. The night of Qadr, is better than a thousand months. So all these 10 nights is better than the thousand months. We have to evaluate these 10 days. In another hadith, which is it's about a specific day, which is the ninth day of the Hijjah, the day of Arafah. Prophet also mentioned, fasting on the day of Arafah is an expiation of sins for two years, the year preceding it and the year following it. Another hadith in the next slide, also Prophet mentioned implementing any good deed during these 10 days, preferable than the other days. Prophet was asked by the people, people asked them, Prophet, even better than the Hajj, than, than the Jihad for seeking Allah? Prophet replies, yes, even better than the Jihad for seeking Allah, except if a man goes out for jihad and carries all his wealth and not returning with them. And we all know that the prophet does not speak from him. Um, in Quran, 
it's mentioned in Surah Al-Najm. مَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى Prophet does not speak from himself, but a revelation that is revealed to him. Another way to prove the importance of these 10 days, it's also mentioned in, in our holy book. It's in the Quran. In Surah Al-Fajr, when Allah mentioned Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wal-Fajr wa ash by the dawn and by the ten nights. Allah swears by the ten days. It indicates the importance of these days. Okay. Uh, another day that is very important uh, in these 10 days is the 9th of the Hijjah, is the day of Arafah. According to a hadith, Hajj is Arafah. And Prophet also mentioned there is no day on which Allah frees people from the fire more so than on the day of Arafah. He comes close to those people standing on Arafah and then he reveals before his angels saying, what, these, what are these people seeking? The importance of the day of Arafah also is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Buruj, verse 3. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْبُرُوجِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْمَوْعُودِ وَشَاهِدٍ وَمَشْهُودٍ It is narrated that the Prophet mentioned the shahid is, is uh, the Friday. And the mashhud is the day of Arafah. He explained that Friday, it's Friday is witness our shahada and comes to us every Friday, once a week. Whereas the mashhud, which is the day of Arafah, can be witnessed when we go it, it, it can be witnessed by going to Arafat during the Hajj so it is very similar to the Friday prayer that is performed it's only can be performed in masjid and once a week on Friday and this is the day of Arafah can be witnessed once a year by going to it. So that's why it's Friday is Shahid and the day of Arafah is Mashhud. Okay. Um, the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah is Eid al Adha the Feast of Sacrifice. It's the greatest aid for the followers when the Muslims are purified from their sins after doing the A'mal of Arafah. It also known as the Day of Nahar, the slaughtering an animal for the sake of Allah. Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, it's also mentioned that Eid al-Adha is the remarkable day of Hajj. He also explained the origin of these Eid. It goes back to Prophet Ibrahim when he had a dream slaughtering his only son, Prophet Ismail. 
after discussing the dream with his son, his son replied, If Alma Tu'mar Satajiduni Insha Allah Mina Sabirin. Do as you are commanded, you will find me among the patient ones. When Prophet Ibrahim start to fulfilling his command without having any hesitating, without having any hesitate, and taking a knife to sacrifice his only son, Prophet Ismail was replaced with a ram by interfering of Allah, who is testing the level or the level of Iman of his Prophet. So having certainty in Allah is also mentioned in the Quran. In Surah al Balaq, Women yet take a laugh, yej allahu mahraja, while your zukum in Haithula yahis. Women yet a wakil and Allah, for who a hasbu in Allah Hadali or Amrihi, but Jaal Allah Likulli Shay in Kadra, and whoever fears Allah, He will make for him a way out, and He will provide for him. From where he does not expect, and whoever relies upon Allah, then he is sufficient for him. Indeed, Allah will accomplish his purpose. People here celebrating the great mercy of Allah upon his prophet Ibrahim. And also his great uh, compassionate and significance of trusting on Allah. Okay. Uh, there is an obligation for any pilgrim to sacrifice a to sacrifice an animal to Allah. This animal could be a sheep, a cow, a goat, a camel. And Allah in the Quran mentioned in Surah Al Hajj, verse 37. Allah will not obtain their meat or blood but the piety from believers reaches him. Allah does not need these meats, but the level of Iman of the believer can be testified here. Also the importance of this uh, sacrificing is also mentioned in Surah Al-Kawthar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna a'atainak al-Kawthar. Therefore, turn in a prayer to your Lord and sacrifice to him only. The wisdom of this sacrifice is not, it is uh, not only remembering the crucial events of Prophet Ibrahim, also it makes us to be responsible to our people of the community who are in need by donating this meat to the poor people. We can prove our responsibility towards each other as the Prophet Muhammad regarding to the responsibility, responsibility mentioned Every one of you is shepherd and is responsible for his flock. Uh, Yul Hijjah is one of the sacred 
months among Dhul Qa'da, Muharram, and Rajab. As Allah in the Quran mentioned in Surah Al Tawbah, verse 36, in Addat al Shuhuri, and Allah is now Ashara Shahran, the Kitabilla, no Mahalaka Samawati will are Minha Arbaatun Hurun. The number of months according to Allah is 12, as written in the book of Allah on the day He created the heavens and the earth of which there are four sacred months. The features of these sacred months is firstly, these months are chosen by, were chosen by Allah and they are distinguished as Ashur al-Hurum, the war Starting any war during these months is forbidden. And the rewards of our good deeds can be doubled. Similarly, the punishment of the of any sins could be multiplied too. Okay, uh, now that we know the importance of these 10 days, we have to perform the greatest acts of worship, such as praying, fasting, doing some charity, if not this year, maybe in the future, going to pilgrimage or going to Hajj, and not wasting our time during this 10 days that are so important and known as the 10, the best 10 days of the year. And thank you so much for your listening. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much Dr. for your great presentation, and um, I liked it. Uh, I liked the way you connected uh, Arafah to Jum'a to Jum'a. It's very nice. Uh, like, uh, yeah. Allah, yeah. um, we have to reflect on these facts, and we have to work hard. And especially, you reminded us that the day of Arafah it, it's even better than like it's. It's the, the best day of this, among these 10 days. The day of Arafah is the, the most important day. And secondly comes the day of Eid, uh, uh, Eid al-Abha. So um, yeah, inshallah, we all work hard inshallah in these days. And I like how you said like there's um, like double reward. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, well, what, 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 it's it's a great opportunity for everyone. Thank, Thank you for your uh, uh, great presentation. Inshallah, so we'll have more presentation, more more articles from you. Inshallah. <laughs> thanks, yeah. thanks to everyone to, who who attended today's program. And inshallah, we will have more programs. Uh, we need your dua and support. And uh, inshallah, we meet you. We have to, tomorrow, inshallah, we have a, a, a night of prayers. We will do, do du'as. Inshallah, if you like to join us, you're welcome. And we'll, we're, we're trying to do some something every every night, at least like uh, or some some nights of these 10 nights so that we can feel this, uh, like uh, that we can share the knowledge. And uh, yeah. Um, uh, Inshallah, we take some some lessons from today, and we uh, sometimes we listen and we read, and but then when after we leave, we everything is, is gone. <laughs> I hope like today we have to implement all the lessons that we are we, we talked about. We inspired from Hajj. Um, one more thing, advice to my to just especially to the young uh, uh, my young uh, Muslims. Um, it's about time, 
time is, is, is very important, like every minute is very important. And these 10 days, try to not to waste time in these 10 days. Uh, especially like people want to, they say, they say, well, they want, we want to have fun. And the definition of fun should be like, inshallah, one day we will talk about this, the definition of the word fun. Um, it's okay to have some to play or to do things, but uh, to ha you have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to, to educate yourself, the, the Islamic education. And there are many opportunities online to, to read and uh, there are many books. And if you want something, if you need any help, just tell us and try when, when you have like this opportunity, a project like, uh, uh, um, I appreciate like so many people who uh, participated in this project. It will uh, like, uh, you, you will use your time wisely. Like you do something for the benefit of the community for the pleasure of Allah. Uh, thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Sister Sarah, and see you inshallah in our uh, in our next program. And don't forget us in your dua. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much.